The one thing I'm watching today is related to inflation and related to the Treasury rates. Many people assume the two-year, the 10-year, the 30-year all move in correlation, but what we're trying to do is separate the difference between the two-year and the 10-year. Uh, the two-year is driven mostly by what the Fed does, and it's controlled by mostly by what the Fed does. The 10-year rate is a little bit different, which is controlled by markets and the arbitrage in the markets as there's movement up or down. And, you know, we think most of the rate increases for this year, the Fed is planning on increasing rates four times. We think that most of that's baked in and the 10-year the Treasury will settle out about 3%. Look, I think as it relates to investors, it comes down to what's your time horizon? If your time horizon is short term, stick with the two year or shorter term paper, get a little bit of yield. If you have a longer time horizon, it's, it's, we recommend spreading it out over, over a two year, five year, 10 year period. Uh, you can get some higher rate, higher return on the 10 year if you are willing to lock up your money for that long. And for Trading Nation, this is Michael Bappas with the Bappas Group at Hightower. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.